I'm Kevin Kurzlake, and you're watching Music Times. Um, well, I've been a fan of, of DJMs for a long time, and, and I'd seen him in close proximity. I'd shot him in, at a number of uh, events, electronic dance music events. Um, uh, and I just, I was, his sets were so infectious, and I think him as an artist, he was really distinguished among all the other DJs that are, um, that I typically shoot in that he can, or he did, um, he actually worked and his skill set was so polished <laughs> um, and he just worked with lightning speed with just amazing dexterity and and you know, that's how I came into AM in, in terms of uh, you know, his universe. Once, once he passed away, um, I got to know the family and I got to know a little bit more about his story. I mean, I, I knew the tabloidy stuff, you know, the, the, the Nicole Ritchie uh, aspects of, of his story, which didn't interest me at all. Um, you'll see in the film, they, they, they still don't, uh, other than sort of a passing, you know, passing glance. But learning more about his story and, and sort of the mountains of adversity that, that he plowed through. Uh, with just amazing persistence and just a, you know sheer will, he was a force of nature, and and I think once I got to know more about who he was, you know, outside of music, uh, you know, I, I just found his story more and more alluring from a, from a film standpoint, and um, and and I had dedicated that film to him, and I had provided the family with a lot of uh, material subsequent to, to his death that was used for various tributes and through as that relationship grew and we started talking more and more about a film um, you know I was just more and more uh, pulled into that universe and I think that one of the other elements that really made me decide to to do the film ultimately was that <clears throat> I've lost a lot of friends in this in this universe in terms of you know film the film and music industries um, they're they're filled with very very talented people that that are it's sort of like where the misfits go uh, the misfits of the universe they, they you know they if they can find a niche which is you know a, a blessing but they often end up in the arts you know whether they started out as ADHD people or OCD people you know sort of like the the problem children and and um, and I think that you know a lot of if you're in those, if you're working in those industries, you, you're friends with a lot of people that 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 tend to sort of medicate their their problems, right? And and uh, they do it with work, with just an amazing work ethic, but they also do it sometimes with drugs or drink or, or various substances. And I lost so many friends to that sort of cocktail of, of of sort of fame and and substance abuse abuse issues that. When, when I finally lost another one, and A.M. was already in the midst, I went back to his mother and I said, you know, look, if, if, I can, if I can sort of contextualize A.M.'s story in, uh, within the continuum of you know, all those amazing artists that we've lost throughout time, Elvis Presley, Jim Morrison, Kurt Cobain died in the middle of the film that, that, that we were making together. Um, and then even after that, we've lost Robin Williams and Philip Seymour Hoffman. If I could paint it within that continuum, and be completely honest about what AM was going through, uh, personally, no, not, not artistically necessarily, then, um, then I'm 100% in. And, and his mother, said, to her credit, said, yeah, that's absolutely the film that needs to be made. And, and um, so we locked arms on it, and, and here we are. You know, I think that the uh, AM was, was really able to um, snatch a victory out of out of every um, battle that he that he fought you know with the exception of, of one and and I think that his his batting average was was pretty solid and and um, ultimately the fact that he succumbed to um, the circumstances that he did I just think that it was um, the issues that he was facing went atomic when he was when he survived the plane crash and, and had he not experienced that, I think he'd still be among us and, 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 uh, and, and making music and, and you know, lighting up the world. And I think that once 
I feel that I've been able to illuminate some of the circumstances that, 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 that he suffered, that he went through towards the end, if it can help make people conscious about maybe what warning signs to look for, what, um, you know, how to reach out if you're suffering yourself, how to reach other people who are suffering from those things, um, then I think it continues his work in the world of recovery and, 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 and helping people, um, you know, find their way. You know, I think that, uh, so early on I, I, I was given a, uh, an audio tape, like a 40 minute tape, which was um, delivered by him. It was a speech delivered by him on his 11th sober birthday. And when I, when I listened to it, it, uh, you know, it's electrifying. He, he, uh, he has he's so gifted as a storyteller he's so magnetic as a as a personality and um brazenly honest about about some of the things that that, that he went through that uh you know and he always does it with a comic touch which is you know pretty engaging so um i sort of came to love him you know through that speech and, and of course i obsessed over it i i know i i probably listened to it hundreds and hundreds of times um, and it really became the spine of our of, of the film, and uh, so I think it's one of several interviews that really offer insight into who he is as a person, and um, and just what a what an amazing character he was. Oh yeah, there was a lot of pressure. I think that Am <laughs> I've never really met anybody who who has had who is that universally loved by everybody that I, that I spoke to. And, and not just as a musician. I mean, everybody loves his sets. Oh, you know, I saw his, his club sets or his, his, his you know, performances at bigger venues. You know, they were always pretty turned on, on by them. But I think just as a, as a human being, um, you know, he, he is, there's a high bar with, 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 that was set by him when he was here. And I want the film to measure up to that in, in every single frame. Well, I hope viewers take away uh, an appreciation of, his, of AM's skills, um, not just as a musician, but I think as a, as a as somebody who who really was, um, and this is a Jesuit term, a man for others. Um, you know, he he devoted his life to being in service to others, and, and um, he was very selfless in that regard. And I think ultimately he actually might have even martyred himself. Um, unwillingly. Uh, I mean, I don't think he wanted to die, but I think that helping others be, was more important than helping himself. And, and uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot of nobility in that, and, and I hope that people recognize um, that, and the fact that it came out of somebody who was suffering from, from the issues that he was, and a lot of those people are, are normally dismissed. It's like, oh, he's just a drunk or he's just a druggie. And, 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 and I think that you know, nobody's that way because they want to be that way. They're always, it's, they're always medicating um, or, or, or you know, trying, to, trying to masquerade something else that, that stems from you know, an experience they, that they went through. And, and if, if, if people can stop and pause and, and, and maybe show a little more compassion for people that are suffering like that, then, you know, we'll all be better off. I don't know, AM, AM came at a very unique time. You know, it was, it, it was, it was, he was right at that sweet spot of where digital technology was, well, analog technology was, was, was sort of handed off to digital technology. On a media sense, uh, he, he, was, he was right at that sweet spot where the internet popped, and 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 there was file sharing and all those you know all those things. And I, I think that he he not only benefit, benefited from it, but I think that he really he really drove it into a place because he had the foresight in terms of like when all these things were happening. Okay, if I do this or this or this, it will optimize the effect of of of. Um, of music, basically, on the, in, in, in our culture. So, um, and I think also the fact that club culture was growing up at that point, um, 
or let's say it, it got it was it was it was getting more expensive anyway. But at this point, you know, velvet ropes and bottle service and all that stuff, they they were they were starting to pop too. So, you know, it's in a sense it's sort of this perfect storm. He lived at this time that was this this perfect storm and he was like the one guy that came in and just turbocharged all the possibilities at, at, uh, of what was happening. And I, it'd be hard to to imagine that somebody else can actually fuse all those elements together and, and make as big of an impact as he did. Um, well, it's funny, I think that uh, I've just um, discovered a couple people who were uh, who were part of his life. He, he didn't know. Well, he did know. For instance, I found the guy who was driving across the, the highway who um, who saw a burning plane fly across off the runway over the road, and he sat with A.M. for ten minutes and you know, gave the gave to, to him and Travis the blanket out of their out of the back of his car, and and, um, and they were just. As a filmmaker, I have to, you know, I want to know what that experience was, was like, you know, and, and uh, it may not end up in the film. I mean, I've shot a ton of interviews that, 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 that haven't ended up in the film, but the bonus features and the special features are, they'll be mesmerizing. So I think that um, once I mop up <laughs> some of those elements that, uh, you know, we'll be finished with the film completely, probably in about a month, and um, and then We'll find a home for theatrically, and then uh, travel down the the road in terms of distribution. And and um, one of the things that's that's important for this movie is that uh, A.M. worked with Music Cares before he died, and um, part of the proceeds of, of this film go to benefit um, those in recovery that that which Music Cares helps, and and also those suffering from PTSD. So. That'll be an interesting part of distribution, I think, in terms of going into you know, armed forces and schools and things like that. That that uh, where you see a different um, you see a different impact of the film on their lives.